Hey folks, James here coming to you straight from Sweet Pea Headquarters. We've been hard at work this year creating the highest quality Christmas designs for you this holiday season. For the upcoming November sew along, we are getting into the Christmas spirit so you can have a beautiful design to show off this holiday season. The project that we're about to embark on is the Father Christmas Hanger. This design can come in three different sizes for the 5x7, 6x10 or the 7x12 hoops. The Father Christmas Hanger is made up of five panels and the option for a sixth, which is the boots panel. The second option is for freestanding boots that is joined in the hoop onto the fifth panel. We opted for the latter option, but it's totally up to you. In this video tutorial, I will show you the stitch out of the bottom panel and how to join the freestanding boots in the hoop. I will also show you how to stitch out the boots panel if you opted for that option. And also, and of course, the construction of your Father Christmas hanger. As always, we recommend you follow our photograph written instructions in conjunction with this video tutorial. If you found this video helpful in any way, please like and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Just a quick note before we get started. This pattern comes with two versions on how to create the boots as a panel or as freestanding. If you want to create the freestanding version, we recommend stitching this version of the boots first as they will be stitched onto panel five whilst in the hoop. Begin by hooping up a few layers of wash away stabilizer in the hoop. The woven variety works the best. Load the design onto your machine and use applique scissors for trimming the batting and fabric. Stitch to place and lines for the batting. Repeat the batting stitch down using batting one. We laid a piece of bag stiffener in the same size as the batting underneath the batting, but this is completely optional. Trim the batting about one to two millimeters from the stitching. Repeat the applique process with the boots using Fabric A. Trim from only the bottom of the boots. Repeat the applique process with the soles of the boots using pieces of fabric large enough to cover the placement lines. And trim the inside edge, leaving the rest in the seams. Embroider the detail and satin stitch along the soles. Embroider the detail on the boots. Remove the hoop from the machine and flip it over so the wrong side is facing up. Trim any long threads. Place fabric B on top of the wrong side of the hoop, right side up, and tape in place. Stitch down, then remove the hoop from your machine and trim fabrics A and B and the soles of the boots on both the front and back, about one to two millimeters from the stitching. Also, trim any long threads.
embroidered the sand stitch around the boots. Use same colour thread in your bobbin. Remove from the hoop and trim away the excess stabiliser. Dissolve the wash away stabilizer and leave to dry. Hold the side until all your panels are made. Moving on to panel 5, which is the bottom panel. Hoop up cutaway stabilizer in the hoop and load the design onto your machine. Use applique scissors for trimming the batting and fabric. Repeat the batting stitch down using batting 1. Trim the batting about 1 to 2 millimeters from the stitching. Repeat the applique process with the cloak using the two fabric A pieces. Trim, leaving the excess fabric in the seams. Repeat the applique process with the cloak trim using both fabric B pieces. Trim, leaving the excess fabric in the seams. Embroider the sand stitch along the cloak trim. Embroider the extra details on the bottom of the cloak. Repeat the applique process with the white trim of the cloak using Fabric C. Trim, leaving the excess fabric in the seams. Embroider the sand stitch along the trim of the cloak.
and brought the hair on the background. Repeat the applique process with Beard 1 using Fabric D. Refer to diagram on your instructions. Trim. Leave the excess fabric in the seams. Repeat the applique process with Beard 2 piece. Using Fabric E, refer to diagram on your instructions. trim, leaving the excess fabric in the seams. Embroider the satin stitch between the beard pieces, then embroider the satin stitch around both pieces. Embroider the stars. Optional, skip steps 20 and 21 if you are making the panel version of the boots, which I'll show later. For the next step for the freestanding boots, place the boots on top of the hoop wrong side up, back facing up, centered on top of the placement lines with the raw edge of the boots crossing the placement lines by half an inch. Have the raw edge of the top of the boots facing outside the hoop and the boots facing in towards the center of the hoop. Add tape as shown below to help the boots stay in place. Stitch down. Now remove from the hoop. And before we trim the seams, make sure you tape the boots away from the seams. Trim the seams to about half an inch. Hold the side until all your panels are made. I will now show you how to make the panel version of the boots. Remember the way you choose to make the boots is totally optional. Panel 6 Boots Hoop up cutaway stabilizer in the hoop. Load the design onto your machine and use applique scissors for trimming the batting and fabric. Repeat the batting stitch down using batting 1. Trim the batting about 1-2mm to two millimeters from the stitching. Place fabric A on top of the batting and stitch down. Trim. Leave the excess fabric in the seams. Embroider the snowflakes in the background.
Repeat the applique process with the boots using Fabric B. and trim, leaving the excess fabric in the seams. Repeat the applique process with soles of the boots using pieces of fabric large enough to cover the placement line. and trim. Embroider the detail and satin stitch along the soles. Embroider the detail on the boots. and brought the sand stitch around the boots. Remove from the hoop and trim the seams about half an inch. Hold the side until all your panels are made. Now using your regular sewing machine to join all the panels. Lay your hanger in order with the long side of the panels together. Place the first two panels right sides together and pin and sew a half inch seam sewing just inside the border lines already on the panels. Now I continue joining the other panels in the same fashion. and open the seams and iron them flat. To make the loops, take out both fabric end pieces for the loops. Fold the fabric in half lengthways and right sides together.
using your sewing machine stitched with a half inch seam along the raw edges. To pull the fabric right side out, we like to pin a safety pin at one end and then thread through the fabric and pull until it's right sides out. Now press with the iron. Top stitch the edges together. Repeat for the other side to make it look even. Make sure the bobbin is the same color as your top thread. Now make sure the loops are even and trim them to the desired length. Fold in half and pin. Pin them both to your hanger. We like to place them about one inch from the side seam stitching and stay stitched in place. Cut the backing. If you use the freestanding boots on your Santa, please pin these towards the center of the bottom block so that they are connected away from the seams. Now place fabric O backing on your table right sides facing up. Place your sewn hanger on top of fabric O right sides together and pin in place. leaving an opening of about 5 inches, 13 centimeters for turning. Now stitch a half inch seam sewing just inside the borderlines already on the panels. 
remembering to leave the opening. Trim the seams to a quarter inch, leaving about half an inch at the opening. Clip the corners for more pointed ones when turned. Now turn the right way out through the opening. Use that picking thing or chopstick to help push out the corners. Now press with the iron and hand stitch or use fabric glue the opening closed. Stitch in the ditch of the seams to attach the backing. Make sure your bobbin matches your backing fabric. Your wall hanger is now complete. Thanks for joining us on this fun Christmas sew along. I hope you get to enjoy the amazing wall hanger all holiday long. For more amazing Christmas designs like this one, check out sweepy.com. That is S-W-P-E-A.com. That's all from me, until next time. Oh, and I almost forgot, please like and subscribe.